Charlie Sheen? What? Hi. How you doing? Well, yes. Charlie Sheen had a lot to say about your claims. He did? I don't remember him saying anything except consider the source. That's what he said. Yeah, let's consider the source. He's known for beating, raping, shooting, stabbing, strangling women. What am I known for? What have I done in my past? Have are any of those claims ever been made about me? I don't think so. So yeah, let's consider the source. Do you think, like you said, like in your lifetime, some major credible journalist will come forward and say, like, we are, we're doing this. Like, I'm going down this road. I'm not a psycho. I mean, psychic. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, I can't tell you what's going to happen in the future. All I can tell you is I'm living today through my art and I don't want to keep going over the same old tracks. It's, it's old and it's tired. It's old and it's tired. Like if nothing's gonna change, nothing's gonna change, but I'm not Superman. I'm only a human being. And I plan to try and live on this planet as long as possible with my family, because that's what matters most to me. So, you know, if I've got a, a scrape to get by and, you know, make my art for the very few people that even get to hear about it because I'm silenced, because I'm shut down, because you can't go on Wikipedia and find a real resume about me or a real bio about me. You can't go on IMDb because they've got Sharknado 3 in my credits. I was not in Sharknado 3. Okay, people? I wouldn't do Sharknado 3 because it's a terrible piece of crap movie. Sorry. I'm not to say that I haven't done some stinkers because I did in the early 90s, but you know, we all make our mistakes when we're getting out of rehab and trying to get our lives together. But that said, I'm an artist these days and I try not to do anything that's not art. Well, talk to me about your music. You know, let's talk about Love Left 2.1. <laughs> and cue the silence. Okay. <laughs> right, like you see, like here, here we are in New York City. I did not yeah. plan that. Right. Ever it's since really COVID, not. I swear I hear sirens all day. People are like, "Where oh, I'm are sure. you?" I'm, I'm like, sorry. "I'm in a dormant yeah. building. I'm up high. It's just, you know what it is? Actually, it's like, it's people stealing. It's like my Dwayne Reed downstairs. Everything oh, is no. behind like a glass, and they're like, "No, we we call the police like seven times a day, ten times a day. Really? It's like people. Oh. So I don't know. I just think that's what all the sirens are. I think it's people just that's trying terrible. to take like looting you, and yeah." And it's, it's not sad. unsafe to walk around. It's just, you don't realize it. You're like, why is the deodorant all of a sudden? You're like, oh, I get it. That's why it's behind the plastic glass. No, well, that's sad. It's, I thought it was behind plastic because they were afraid of germs. <laughs> right, I didn't know. Silly me, silly me. <laughs> I didn't understand why either. I was like, and they were like, no, we call the police like all day. If people come in, take things and run out. I'm like, oh. I mean, it's a hard time. It's a hard time for all of us, you know? It's people aren't making the money they used to. Uh, you know, when you have a job, you don't go into the job half the time. There's nobody there. If you do go in, I mean, it's just things have gotten weird, you know, but hopefully we're turning the corner and hopefully it's all over soon. But back to my music. Let's talk about the Comeback King, my new single. Have you heard it yet? I have heard it. And I, I hear, listen, I'm, I'm stuck in the eighties. I love the eighties, early nineties for music. So I hear all of that in music. So, I mean, I hear like that old, like you said, nostalgia eighties early 90s in it. I mean, tell me I'm wrong, but that's what I hear in like a good way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, like, look, obviously there's going to be a piece of that in my music, you know, no matter what, because it's it's the era I was raised in. But I also write, you know, I think pretty current music. I mean, we've got, you know, Curtis Young on there, who's phenomenal and he's definitely a very modern rapper of today. You know, totally. his dad is Dr. Dre. His dad is Dr. Dre. So obviously he's got a little bit of that in him too. But the point is, he's a, a brand new, spanking new contemporary artist. So the idea is collaborating with, you know, new artists and keeping myself on the pulse of what's happening in pop culture, you know. And, and I try to always do that, to always keep my finger on the pulse so I know what's going on. And, and I don't come off with something that's dated. But that said, look at the design. Obviously, we're releasing a lot of music from 86 to 93 that was from those days. Now, Comeback King is from the new album which is called Love Left 2, Army with Love. And it's a sequel to my first album, which was released in 1993. And that album was comprised of songs that, you know, were basically written between 89 and 93. But 
what a lot of people don't know is that between 86 and 89, I had written and recorded probably like two different albums worth of material that never made it out because of one reason or another, mostly because of the stereotype, because they always said, well, you know, if you're a, if you're a, an actor, you can't be a singer. And if you're a singer, you can't be an actor. And that's the way it was in the eighties because it was ruined by people before me, my predecessors like John Travolta and Scott Baio and, you know, people that you go like, I don't really want to think of an album from that person, but they did and it kind of ruined it for everybody. And so there was this, by the time I got there, because that had happened in like the late seventies, early eighties. So by the time I got there in the mid to late eighties, it was taboo and you just didn't do it. You didn't give an actor a recording deal. Um, and then of course, by the mid nineties, that all completely changed. And it was like back to a prerequisite. You had to have all three and you had to be a, a multi-talented, multi-faceted entertainer. So, uh, you know, things dramatically changed. And then by the mid nineties, when I was going like, okay, so now it's cool, right? Let's do this. And then it was like, yeah, but you know, you're already established and we already know you're not a Disney kid. It's only Disney kids that can make that crossover. And you're just like, what? I always seem to miss the boat, you know, just by that much. Um, but, you know, lo and behold, what happened in 2016, I had a top 40 billboard hit and I was on the Today Show with a historical performance that literally got more views than any other performance in the today show.com's history. Wow. So that was big, you know, and that was again, because they tried to clown me. And I feel like every time they tried to clown me, it just kind of backfired on them and I got bigger, you know? And so that's why now I think they're just trying to shut me down altogether. What music, like you said, like wh who currently do you love? Like, what are some musical acts you love? Um, I really like uh, uh, Tame Impala is pretty good. I love Eminem. I'm like a, a real sucker for Eminem. I mean, not all of this stuff. I feel like maybe the last couple albums are a little bit, uh, what's the best way to put it? Stale? Maybe Not as good as bit. it was. It's, yeah, I mean, he was funny. He was genius. He was so just brilliant man you know and like i wish he would go back to more of the comedic side of his style and his writing because that's what i think endeared him to so many was the fact that he he was this tough little gangster kid that didn't take himself so seriously and that's what made him endearing to everybody um but you know hey we all have to evolve in whatever way we see fit and that's where he's at uh but um you know like i was really into um Halsey because like she's her voice is amazing she's so super talented um but then I was a little bit disappointed with you know she just kind of went to the dark side and I don't know yeah Halsey yeah I I I, I get that yeah what, what about who I do like Dua Lipa Dua Lipa is really good she's amazing Dua Lipa is great yeah. yeah maybe you you know who do you who do you like from like you know the 80s, like even though your music is very current and you're working, like, do you have any favorites? 